thank you for inviting me for this and uh, i'm not going to share any case okay because there's so much that i i know him at a personal level i know him as a homeopath and i can just tell i'm very blessed i nobody can be as lucky as i am because for the long the duration of time i know him i've also had an opportunity to sit with him for almost 3 years and learn get first hand that learning which very few people can have this opportunity and i've been very 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 lucky so at a personal level let me tell you first that uh, i am a, from a allopathic background and uh, but somehow i got to know some patients who did very well with homeopathy and that instilled some curiosity in me and then i all my homeopathic education is self study i have not given any formal examination nothing but i was looking for a teacher because to translate all the materia medica and all the things i had read unless i see it in a patient it would not be possible for me to practice and to my good luck i was i practice in the same area where he is and he gifted me his book soul of the remedy i read that book and i said this is the man he is going to take me ahead with this homeopathy i just decided somehow the other i have to get to know him better and to see how i can get and to sit in his clinic and i think i have been very very lucky and i have seen him through those days where we used to not even have used computer and then the book was there only the soul of remedy was there then the substance came and then the, all this plants and everything so i see i saw the whole system evolve so you were asking kyle whether it is evolution or revolution i don't see any difference of course homeopathy has evolved and it would not have reached the heights at which it is there today if it was not for rajan shankaran he is a big hand so i am very happy also that we are acknowledging him on the day on the hanuman day on the world homeopathy day and i think in a way it's also through shankaran we are also giving our tributes to hanuman and it is when you say of revolution we are not going against any system so i don't think that we have gone any way different the essence is the same i'm sure if hanuman was to be alive today he would be very happy in the way this whole science has been taken ahead we cannot stop ourselves at the level at but which hanuman could do in his lifetime it had to be taken forward and any science which does not progress is dead and i think the level at which rajan shankar and i has taken this uh, science it is phenomenal many of us now have individuated in many many different ways but it is not something that you cannot make a rocket from a bullock cart you have to stand on somebody else's shoulder and then go up uh, and we have had this broad shoulders of shankaran on whose shoulders we stand today and we come up with our own ideas and in our own way try and contribute whatever we can towards this science but at a personal level i would like to tell we all talk about we being students of homeopathy and students of rajan shankaran but let me tell you about him he lost his father quite early when he was still a student of course he had seen his father maybe his father did discuss something but when he really needed his father he was father his father was not there and look at his dedication he went to some of the best fortunately his father knew many of those homeopaths of their, those days like fatter and kanjilal and many of those people and he went he used to sit and stay with them and be in their clinic look at that dedication that single mindedness if you ask me something about him his focus is so sharp so focused so dedicated he lives homeopathy he has given his life to homeopathy and only a person with so much of dedication can bring forth what he has given to homeopathy and what i learn how to be a good student is from him and what i learn is to be a good student you have to learn more than what is being taught 
he learned more than what all those great homeopaths of those days taught him and that is his great strength and i think we have to learn this and as me as a student when i went what i thought the way i approached him was i don't know anything whatever he says is right so i didn't use my head generally what happens is our heads also go on working at the same time he is telling something but i am thinking something but why not this why not that i said i am wrong he is right till a point where i could ask him talk with him if i thought it was lycopodium but he said it is calcarea i would say it's calcarea finish there is no question so you begin with no questioning just accepting everything then as you grow further as a homeopath then you can start then you can ask him discuss i don't think for the first two years i might have asked him even one question i just listened to him and i have been really blessed for one reason is because i am a homeopath i i am today a homeopath but i came with a psychiatric background and if you see the whole repertory our repertory is full is divided into so many sections for the body from head to toe you have so many sections if you see the repertory is divided but mind is one section and i remember rajan telling once you know that taking up mind rubrics is like going into the ocean without a compass and also mind symptoms can be you can have use a lot of prejudice how you interpret a body if he says that i have a shooting pain or it is relieved by a uh, hot application there is no interpretation it is fact but when you come to mind we are prone to a lot of interpretation so how to make it solid and that is what we learned how to look within the levels of experiences which he talked about oh my god i don't know what to say i can get emotional thinking about what he has given to us and this whole concept of seeing the whole homeopathy as the two songs within the human song and the other song inside when i joined him the idea of seeing things at the delusion level the situational materia medica medica was so nice otherwise we were doing blind procedures we were doing homeopathy by repertorization and those okay three remedies have come we try this oh and if they don't improve we immediately change to the second one maybe the first one was right we didn't give a stand because we were not it was not predictive it was not solid it was not understandable why only cpr and why not nak somita so what he has brought is understanding to the whole process i remember when he was talking about this soul of remedies how that book came i am telling you ha huh? sorry in the beginning i said soul of remedy was the first i got no the spirit of homeopathy sorry and the soul of remedies was when he was already there there was a couch in his room and he would be i would be sitting there too because i was there all the time in those days he would be lying on the bed and just talking and somebody would type and put it he is like a encyclopedia and those books that that hundred those hundred remedies are simply fantastic he told me that you know we go on searching for newer newer remedies but we are making mistakes in our simple things we make mistakes in coming to calcarea carb lycopodium bryonia naxomica he saying these are the ones to be mastered it is not knowing it is not information it is how you experience how you feel the patient you know when he is there he is so silent and you feel sometimes that he is not even alert but the amount he receives from the patient he almost functions at an intuitive level most of us are at the logical level you know okay this 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 we use a lot of logic he perceives he feels he experiences and i think this is what we have to learn the most important thing is case taking because we fumble with all these and we want to know all the different types of birds and we want to know all the different type of spiders he said if you know my 100 remedies which i have put in the soul of remedies most of the cases you will be able to crack and he is never ending oh my god how much i think he has got he works almost like 10 people i can't imagine being in his shoes i would be crazy 
how he has so much of so much i don't know what is that driving force within him that keeps him going on and on and on and on never ending and he's so harsh and so critical of himself he is never happy with himself whatever he does there is always something more something more that sort of thing i think we have to learn to be him not just the remedies learn to be him then homeopathy will be where it is and i think thank him and i'm sure hanuman would thank him for bringing homeopathy to that place he has given the right place today hmm we saw many people bringing it like vitul kas did and everything did but shankar and just took it to a it's like it's pinnacle and i feel it is evolution evolution means that you evolve over time and make it better and that has to be in science and it is also revolutionary in a way so today is a day where we have to be all of us i think one thing we share in common is that we are very happy we are homeopaths so let us show our gratitude to our science which is such a deep science our great gratitude to hanuman for whatever he has brought us and to our newer homeopaths especially rajan shankaran to him i am completely indebted and i'm happy i i feel very lucky and i am happy i'm doing what i really feel i never feel i work because people say that you don't have any hobby i say my hobby is my profession because you love it so much and you see your nice case and when you really solve it it is so relaxing and so happy hmm? i think why homeopathy is so benevolent to rajan is because he loves it and when you love something that particular science unfolds and shows you that it's entirety i think we have to love it as much as he loves homeopathy thank you very much mm-hmm. i don't know i can go on and on talking oh that's perfect thank you so much dr mahesh uh, you really gave us a lot to think about you even answered our question <laughs> which was good thank you thank you mm-hmm. thanks to rajan again yes for sure thank you very much